it's Megan here from the Teach Better team with a short video series to offer some information about Screencastify. In these videos, we will talk about signing into your account and adding Screencastify to Chrome, making a recording, editing a recording, and Screencastify submit. So let's start with what is Screencastify. Screencastify is a free screen recorder for Google Chrome that allows you to record, edit, and share videos with others. So Screencastify is an add-on, an extension with Google Chrome. So you do have to be using Google Chrome. And because it is an add-on or an extension, you don't need to create an account. You're really just signing in to your Google account using Screencastify. So let's start by talking about how we get signed in and how we make sure we have Screencastify as an extension to Chrome. Once you have a new tab open, you are going to go to screencastify.com. Once you're on screencastify.com, there are two buttons that are important, my account and add to Chrome. We're going to start by signing into our account and then we'll come back and we'll add the Chrome extension so that it's easily accessible from our Explorer. So we're going to hit my account. And remember, you're not actually creating a new account. You are just signing in with Google. So we're going to click this sign in with Google button. And then you're going to click your Google email. Now it's going to sign you in and it's going to bring you to your account. Now Screencastify has a free account and it allows you to record as many videos as you like. It does have a video limit, which is usually around five minutes. So I'm going to click back on the Screencastify logo there to bring us back to adding to Chrome. So we're going to add the extension. That way it's going to be easily accessible for us right up here anytime we'd like to record. I'm just going to click Add to Chrome. And I'm going to click Add to Chrome one more time. Add extension. And it will very quickly load. And once it loads, it will have we will have a button right up here making it very easily accessible to us. Now it's been added, and right up here you can see this little pink-ish arrow with a recorder. That's how we get to Screencastify all the time. We have one more step to just set up a few more things, and then Screencastify will be ready for us to use. So we're going to click on the little arrow, and it's going to take us to this page just to have us sign in and set a few things up. So you're going to click Sign In with Google. And it is going to sign you in and we are going to set up just a couple of the settings that go along with Screencastify. So first of all, you want to make sure that your camera and microphone and drawing and annotation tools are clicked. That way, when you're recording your video, you're not only recording sound, but you're recording either your screen or yourself and you're able to draw and annotate if you need to. And then click Next. We're going to allow And now we are all set up and we are completely ready to go. And Screencastify has a quick two minute overview, how to make a recording, some knowledge just to kind of help you out. We're going to start by jumping into how do we actually create our first video now? So it's super simple with Screencastify. First, you start by clicking on the pinkish arrow and it's going to come up with a couple options here. It's first going to ask you, do you want to record your browser tab, the desktop, or the webcam only? So if you're recording yourself teaching, you're going to click webcam. If you are going to be recording things maybe on multiple tabs, or you're going to be toggling between a couple, maybe it's a PDF file and a different tab, you can do desktop, or you can do browser tab if you just want to stick to one tab that's open. You can see that my microphone, my microphone is already selected and it's working, all you would have to do then is click record. And when I click record, it's going to give me a couple options, your entire screen or your application window. So again, just the window that's going on or my whole screen where you can see all the tabs. Now, you can see that share is not available right now. So you actually have to click on this and click share. Once you click share, it is going to count you down from three and then it'll begin recording. At any point in time, you can go back up to the top when you're recording. You can either pause your recording or you can stop your recording. If you pause, you can obviously press play and start again. 
if you stop it, your recording is going to stop and save from there. I hope this video helped you learn how to sign in to Screencastify and add Screencastify as an extension on Chrome. In the next video, we are going to look at how to take the videos we've created and edit them, and then how to use Screencastify Submit with our students.